So if you find yourself in the area, the Adirondack Mountain Cafe in Upper J, New York, is where you want to go. It's the last remaining building from an old theme park called the Land of Make Believe. It's right by the river. What river would that be, honey? Sable River. Well, there she is. Possible. We haven't seen her in so long. Okay. The famous Christina, mm -hmm. the better half of the Happy Wanders, is driving. Can you believe it? I drive all the time. What are you talking about? Put your seatbelt on there, Mr. Mitchell. <laughs> so just showing you, it's 50 degrees. And it could very easily be 20 it's, below zero this sure, time of year. What's your date on here? I think it's the 10th, 10th of February, I think. We think it's the 10th. I can't remember if it's, Maybe the, 9th it's the 9th or the 10th. No, it's the 10th. It is the 10th. Yeah. February 10th. There's the old KOA. We used to work camp there. There's nothing there now. Corporate tour. Everything out of there. Every single cabin. Everything. Every the Great Lodge. Thing. Every single thing. <laughs> pretty much is out of there. But look how close you were. When you worked there at KOA, this is how close you were to Whiteface Mountain. There's the ski area. Beautiful spot in the Adirondacks. And there it is, folks. The famous Whiteface Mountain. Wilmington, New York. It's where they held all the downhill events in 1980 Winter Olympics. Got some skiers today. Here's something you don't see every day, folks. Rain in Lake Placid, February 10th. Just coming into town. At this rate, they'll be golfing on this golf course here, please. Crazy. I thought you were going to say that this is something you don't see very often the ski jumps. But you miss the ski jumps over there. Yeah, you're driving yeah, too fast for the ski jumps. The ski the jumps, the 60 yeah, and the are. 90 meter ski jumps are over there. And over here, they are sledding on the little bit of snow that's left. <laughs> wow, we had quite a bit of snow, but it's, as you can see, it's pretty much all gone. The Olympic Village. Mm -hmm. Incorporated in 1900, it says. And here it is, folks. The Olympic Village of Lake Placid, New York. That sky. Yeah. It looks very it's been threatening. beautiful weather. This is really the only cloudy day we've seen in probably over a week. So they're so. having the Can-Am um, hockey tournament. Oh boy. Always a hockey tournament in Lake Placid. Yeah. So that would be where the um, that's a speed skating oval is in front of the school, the high school. And this is the uh, skating complex. And you can go in there and see where the Miracle of Ice took place, 1980, when we beat the Russians during the Cold War in hockey. And they have a museum in there. Museum, and it just wasn't supposed to happen. But it did. Yeah, so the state of New York has spent millions of dollars on all of this stuff in Lake Placid, redoing all this in the Olympic Village. Well, if you've never been to Lake Placid, it is a pretty neat area. Kind of a European looking Swiss chalet style and it's always busy down through here and usually it's like a real winter wonderland here with all the decorations and lights and everything I don't know who, oh that was Tony wasn't it? Was that it? My mom.
Oh yeah, don't be in a hurry if you're going to go this way. Oh, Ooh, somebody's smoking the reefer. Oh, you smell that? How could you know? <laughs> it's not you, is it there, no. Mrs. Happy Wander? <laughs> Are you wandering around without even leaving the farm? I'm fine. <laughs> you're I'm fine? fine? Well, that's good. Goofy enough already. Yeah, imagine. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> oh. This is the first place that Mrs. Happy Wander and I ever went was the movie look at theater. This dog. Look at this oh my god, look at the size of this like dog. Lion. That's a big dog. <laughs> walking your lion down the street. Yep, we went to a restaurant over here and we went to the movies right there on our first date. How many years ago was that now, Christina? 36 years ago. 37, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> Long time ago. She was 17. Just a few days ago. You can believe that. There it is, folks. Mirror Lake. And now we're heading up the hill and towards Saranac Lake. So, Christina. What are you doing? Just hanging around? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> grandpa being mean. Say bad, Grandpa, bad. So mean. So mean. Look, there's an ice castle yes. down here. 50 degree weather. Ice palace. They don't go together very well, so it's closed today. Yeah. But we're going to get closer to it. Open water and So Saranac Lake, New York is... Mean known for cure cottages it's during the tuber good. tuberculosis outbreak in the 1800s. Huh? And every one of these old, big old houses <laughs> has the porches because the people used to sleep out there and it helped with the TB, also known as <laughs> consumption. Well, you'd see a lot of people, now that that's not an issue, they've enclosed the big porches. So it was quite an industry here back in the day, cure cottages. The fresh mountain air, <laughs> cooler temperatures in the summer, and put people out on those porches and sleep in the open air and have them sit out there during the day. Wow, Ruthie says. Look at that, it's an ice castle. Parts of it are already falling off. So much work to build this every year. Seems like every year you get a warm spell. Right during the winter carnival. Today's the winter carnival parade day. So they cut these blocks of ice right out of uh, the lake over here. Lake Flower. You can always tell what kind of winter you're having by how thick the blocks are. We did get some cold weather. Got some decent blocks out of there. Yeah, it's cold. So Ruthie wants to touch the ice. So here's some of the rejects over here. This yeah. is the They said that they throw reject. That has that's like has cracks in it or it's got a good <laughs> solid ice over here. Okay. Really too bad because I'm sure there's a slide in there, an ice slide and everything. I'm sure it's down the roof. But boy, it's deteriorating <laughs> fast. Look at the edges yeah. of it. Well, the this ice is all packed with ice and snow usually. It'll be taking this thing down like quick this year. Yeah. And this is where they cut it out of right here. You can see where they've been cutting the ice. I don't even, I wasn't here last year because I was a Christina's sister and brother-in-law own that big building. This is a town she grew up in, Saranac Lake. 